Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your November weekly general love read and whatever other messages come up. Please like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon and leave comments down below. I love to hear if the messages resonate. If they do, I will be providing a link as well to the extended read. I'll also pin it <clears throat> to the comments below as well. All right, let's do this. Universe, what clear messages? Please be precise for my Scorpios. What messages? What is the highest message here that you have for my Scorpios? Please be precise for the general Scorpionic population. Happy birthday to anybody who's having birthdays this week. I will be November 14th. Happy birthday to all my November 14th twinnies. All right, universe, one more shuffle. Please be precise. Please be precise. Sacral chakra, all right, working on something passionate, something creative, a union maybe, victory and success, and material harvest, I like it, maybe you're working on something creative this week <clears throat> that is finally bringing you, um, bringing you investment, return and investment, that's what I was looking for, sorry. But there's victory and success here. You may have been working really hard on this project um, regarding work and you just haven't seen, you know, you haven't seen any um, monies from it yet. And this is the week. This is the week it'll all be happening, okay? We have 269. Um, could be on the 26th, could be on um, the 29th could be on the 9th something could have um, happened or even um Feb december december 6th 2nd or 9th or the 26th also um pay attention to somebody maybe born february 6th february 9th um 1969 um 1996 somebody who's 26 29 or even 69 um I'm not going anywhere with that. Uh, let's see. We have also June 2nd and June 9th. And we have September 6th and September 2nd. Okay? So if those numbers resonate, that message could be for you. Let's check a love oracle message. Let's see how all this ties together. All right, universe, be precise. Give me a love message. Overall love energy. Overall Oracle card. One more shuffle. This is looking like a good week so far, guys. Let's keep it that way. Universe, come on. Love yourself first. Take care of you. It's your birthday. Go out and take care of yourself. And let your friends help you. So maybe your friends have a lot of things planned for, for this week, okay? Maybe your friends want to take you out. Maybe something, maybe something has been going on in your life, in your love department, and your friends are just wanting you to take a break from it and go out and enjoy yourself for your birthday. You could be they could be celebrating your birthday for you. They may even have um have had this planned and it could be a surprise, okay? But let's get into this. Let's get into this. All right, universe. Show me my Scorpio and show me the energy surrounding my Scorpio. Show me my Scorpio and show me the energy surrounding my Scorpios. Show me my Scorpio. One more shuffle. One more shuffle. All right. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So very solid, stable, working, working on yourself. Definitely very self-assured. Um, you could be a single parent, but this is working really hard and working on yourself. And this could be that material harvest that's coming in for you. You really have your mind on your money this week. Money's been looking good for you this season. And opportunities, um, like I said, finally been um, coming through for you. And you may be more focused this week on, on your money than you are love. Um, which is why you're sort of hanging out with your friends and and just taking care of you first. That's a great energy to have. 
Um, your mind definitely is not on love right there. You could be a little bit stubborn. You could be giving somebody the cold shoulder at the moment. Um, and you're just focusing on, like I said, work instead of love because you're not ready to deal with um, something that could be going on in your love life, okay? All right, show me Scorpio. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Queen of Swords. And we have the Judgment. All right. So you're very busy. Very busy. You're very attractive. Um, very. You're looking very good. You're looking in yourself right now. Um, you're, you're looking very positive and passionate. And you're deep. You get the three queens here sort of um, representing your energy. You're stable and you're passionate about something and you are in your mind really, really thinking things clearly and you've made some sort of decision. I'm not seeing, um, you're having you're having an epiphany of some sort and <clears throat> really, really just focusing on loving yourself right now. Again, loving yourself first and taking care of you. You must, you're realizing that once you have all your uh, ducks in a row, that maybe your person that you're thinking of or the right person will come in um, for you. You, I'm not seeing any water here, which is emotion. So you may be a little bit, again, with this queen of pentacles here, you may be a little bit shut off from your emotions this week. You're paying attention to something, something creative, work-related, that's making you very happy. You're very busy. You're very busy with um, just your life in general. A lot of things are happening. So you could be just celebrating, and you have this fiery, passionate, you know, let's go out, let's do stuff energy. Sorry about that in the background. I had the window open because it's really nice out, and it's winter time here. <clears throat> The Queen of Swords, though, you you are a little detached emotionally. You're still thinking, though. You are thinking about um, your person, and you're in the, you're in the middle of making a decision, a decision of some sort. Okay, but the, you know that this is what you should be doing, and you're finally. I think you're in like this this place in your head where you're seeing things differently. You're seeing people for who they really are. And you're okay with just being alone right now and around your friends. Like, alone in love right now, but around your friends and just doing your thing right now. Even if it's just for this week. You're seeing things very clearly. And you're trying to really focus on yourself. Really focus on yourself, all right? Let me get a, um, let me get a couple clarifiers here. I want to get a couple clarifiers. That's really strong. Three clean energies. And you could have three friends around you. You could have a Leo Sag Aries. You could have a Aquarius Libra Gemini. A Virgo Taurus um, Capricorn. You also could have, well, you have your energy here, the Scorpio, okay? So this is strong energy for you to have. But you could have the support of um, the, three, the three people around you, three friends. And they are, they are helping you with this decision that you're making. All right, universe, let's clarify. Let's clarify these cards here. Let's clarify my Scorpio here. What's going on in their heads? What's going on in their heads? There could be a little bit of conflict in your head. That's why you're, um, that was at the bottom of the deck. That's why you're sort of in your head and just thinking and taking a step back. Um, there could be some conflict. You you may not know. You're trying to make this decision here. You're trying you're trying to juggle something, um, a decision. The seven of cups. You're confused about something. You may have options. You're definitely confused. You may have your mind on somebody from the past who you've spent a lot of time contemplating and wanting to be with you really gave a lot of energy to this person you were very passionate about this person you could have gave so much of yourself so much energy that you're sort of in this position of making a decision am i ready to give up with this situation and move on 
to another situation, you may be seeing a clearer understanding of this person. You may have thought this person was your one soulmate, twin flame, whatever, and you really, you really hung on. And because you invested so much, you're in this position where, um, you know, you're, you're just in this position where do I move forward and, and, and try to find somebody new or do I really keep hanging on? Because Scorpios have a hard time letting go, especially if they're invested in love and they, and they feel you feel so deeply about something. You bond with with um, somebody um, on a deeper level right out the gate. So when you're bonded to somebody, you almost feel like you can't give up. So you're stuck in this position, but you've backed off so that you can really, really go within and work on yourself. And that's why you're working on, you're throwing your energy into this sort of passionate project that you have going on so that you don't focus so much on your emotions um, towards this person. But you are at a place now where you are seeing things a little bit more clearer and you are going within and you're trying to make a decision that's best for you. And that decision could be to maybe move forward and find somebody different because we do have, you know, this is, this is really causing some mental conflict um, within you. This is really, really hard on you in your head. Look at eight of swords in your head, in your head a lot with this and wanting to release or let go of <clears throat> sort of, um, you want to let go of these these feelings and these negative thoughts that maybe you're having because this is causing sort of uh, anxiety and anger in your head, this confusion. You've put a lot of energy and thought into this person and it has not gotten anywhere yet. Anywhere. All right. We have the high priestess, which is saying for you to trust Trust yourself, trust your intuition, trust the universe. And I think that's what you're doing is you're going within and you are, especially with that judgment card, you are calling upon the universe and the guides um, to guide you in the right direction, which is why you're focusing more of your energy on being solid and stable and work and this passionate, um, you're staying so busy, so busy. You're going to see success materially. And financially before you see success emotionally and in love okay but the universe is guiding you and the universe is also saying just go within at the moment and trust yourself trust that you're doing the right thing and I think that you know you are I think that I think that it's it's hard for you this confusion this mental conflict because you know that the decision that you need to make is going to be a hard one. Do I let go of this or do I move forward? Um, do I bring on somebody new? Um, but let's just keep going. Let's keep going and see. So we have the death card here. We have um, your energy here, which is a cycle. This is a new cycle. It could be an end into, like I said, the past, what you've been putting all your energy into and a beginning to something new. You could be connected with um, another Scorpio as well, or a Cancer. You have all the signs here. All right, and we also have the Page of Cups, so open in your heart. So there could be an ending to what's going on here when you do make a decision, but this is, uh, Page of Cups is messages of love, and it's just reminding you to be you know, to, to go, to be intuitive, use your intuition, but to be loving and, and open up your heart and, and be ready to um, be intimate and loving towards somebody that may be coming your way. Okay, don't close your heart off totally because something will come, some a communication will come in, truthful communication that will bring this to justice. Justice will be served in the sense your decision will be the right decision but there will be communication that will back it up and somebody will be coming in with communication that will that will be what you want to hear it's communication that you'll want to hear okay they could be off in their own hermit mode right now 
um, and that's why you haven't heard from them yet. But let's move forward. Let's look at who your person is. Let's look at your person and see um, if any reconciliation card comes up, it's going to tell me it is somebody from the past. It is your person from the past coming in. If no reconciliation card comes in, it's going to, I'm going to go with, it could be a new person that you may have decided to let go. But I don't see the hanged man here of letting go. I don't see you letting go yet. I just see you in your head contemplating and, and wanting to maybe, you want to make this decision. But you're doing the best thing for yourself right now, which is taking care of yourself. You're getting your shit together. You're working on your finances and you're, you're clearing your head. You look, you're in such a great place. It's just your heart is a little bit closed off. You're focusing just on you and this creative project. All right. Show me Scorpio's person. Show me Scorpio's person and the energy surrounding Scorpio's person. Please be precise and clear for my Scorpios. Please be precise and clear. Show me Scorpio's person. Your sacral shocker to me is on fire because you are desiring a passionate relationship. That's what the message I just got, you know. So you're using that passion and that creativity and putting it into a, a project, a creative project that is bringing you success in, in the material department. Which is why you're sort of lit up like that queen of wands. All right, please be precise and show me my Scorpio's person. Show me who's on my Scorpio's mind. The, the energy that surrounds them. Page of Swords. Communication coming in. They could be watching you. This is the Lurker card. Um, whoever your person is, they, you may know who they are. We haven't clarified that yet. Okay. And, but there's a, a new opportunity here. Okay. Trust and communication. They are wanting to come in and communicate, um, something to you. And again, it could be that truthful, truth revealed, how they truly feel about you. And you have the Ace of Pentacles here, which is a new beginning as well. So they also may be ending this old cycle. They may have been through a transformation themselves and they're finally ready to come in and tell you how they really feel. Um, and they're waiting for the, they're waiting for an opportunity. You have the Ace of Wands here too. They're very passionate about you. This is somebody who's very, very passionate about you. You have three Aces, three beginnings, okay, to a new beginning. Keeping your heart open, opening your heart. They may be watching you right now and keeping an eye on you. And they're contemplating and really trying to find the best way to come towards you. You're on their mind. You're burning their mind. You're burning up their mind. They can't stop thinking about you. Something's happened in their life. A new opportunity may have come in their, their life that they um, had a revelation. That they've seen the truth maybe about how they really feel. They may be ready to face how they really feel. They may have been denying how they felt in the past. If this is your past person, um, they may have been denying how they felt. They just didn't want to commit. But now for some reason, they can't get you off their mind. You're all they think about sexually, uh, you know, passionately and solid. Like they want an opportunity to make this solid. You know, I'm still not getting the emotional. You, neither of you are opening up your heart yet, but there's definitely communication coming in of passion, wanting to get together with you. Okay, that's the energy that's surrounding them. You're on their mind. You know, they're juggling. They're juggling a decision too. You have that at the bottom of the other deck as well. Jug juggling. Pay attention to twos and pay attention to ones. One and two is beginning. There's a new beginning. Two is a union. You see, if you're seeing two, 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 that's a union. You're on the right direction, right path. The angels are giving you messages. Your spirit's giving you messages. Or it's just, the numbers are just reminding you to keep focusing on the, the, what you want and the positivity and, and a union coming in for you. But you have one, one, one. So one, one, one and two, two, two. Pay attention to those numbers. Your person is juggling whether and when and how to come in to start this. The sun. They are looking. This is, they are so um, 
how do I want to say it? They're looking at the situation optimistically now. They now see how, how you guys connect. They see this connection. And when they think of you, you, you make them feel this way. You make them feel happy. They now finally may have had an epiphany um, and trust who you really are. Maybe you threw them off when you first met them. And, and it, your energy was hard for them to believe. They were so closed off that they maybe were projecting onto you um, past shit that's gone in their life. And you were just too good to be true. And that could have reflected upon you and made you feel like shit as well. But they're now seeing that you're this very, you're this beautiful person with this, this, I, look at the, the queen of wands and en energy here, very attractive and upbeat and warm and energetic and cheerful. And it's just so passionate so passionate and they now see how solid you are as well too because you're getting your shit together and mentally you're coming across more clear now so when you do communicate you both may neither of you may sound like you did the last time you spoke you're on two different i mean you're on a, a new wavelength the communication between the two of you will be so different i believe you will spark spark this you know this passion again within one another and you'll see that there's a solid there's there's room here for a solid beginning a solid foundation the only thing is i have yet to get opening up your hearts truly to one another i just have the page of cups here which is telling you to keep your heart open be ready for this. Both of you may be a little bit, you know, somebody's, they felt, they're, they have a fear of being rejected from you this time because they may have rejected you in the past. Okay? And so now they're coming back and they're afraid that you're going to reject them. So both of you have your hearts guarded at the moment. I have Eight of Pentacles, which is, you know, progress, working towards this. They definitely are working on how to come forward here. But this could also mean a little bit burnt out from the past may have been really difficult for the two of you to come together. Something in the past may have just made this person feel like giving up. And it to me, it was communication and it was honest communication about how each other felt about one another. I don't think anybody told, told, I think the passion was clear. I believe the, pa the passion, there's no doubt about it that you two were not sexually attracted to one another. But there was no communication on how you each both felt about each other and about having a commitment. Okay, so the it may have been so confusion confusing that your person just you know gave up but we have the judgment on their side too matching your energy scorpionic energy they may have scorpio in their chart as well but they're seeing things clearer and they are now understanding and they're seeing you clearer. They're seeing themselves clearer as well. And I think both of you are seeing things from your, your third eye or crown chakra. You're more connected. And you know that this relationship has a deeper connection. Whether or not you communicate it yet, you both know that you have a deeper understanding or a deeper connection. I think when this person comes in to communicate with you, I think without words, you will both know that you're on the same page. I think it'll be in inevitable. With all these aces here, ace of swords, ace of pentacles, ace of, pa ace of um, wands. We're just missing the ace of cups just not yet. As soon as we get that ace of cups, you know, it's a complete balance. But I think that as soon as you receive this message from this person, it doesn't matter what they say to you, what, 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 they, what words come out of their mouth, you're going to believe it's the truth. And you, you both are going to have this, this connection, this judgment. This, you're going to make the decision. You're going to see right through each, other, through each other's words. And you're going to know that the bond has been revealed. You both may just forgive each other instantly because you feel that deep connection. 
There's no need for words, especially with the Scorpio. You can say all the words you want to say. We can tell what you're feeling and what you're really thinking. We read between the lines. We see things that others don't see. You you put together all the pieces. Your words are just words that are just an extra bonus if they match your thoughts. Okay? But I believe that when you two do speak, there will be a natural bond that is happening in natural psychic communication between one another but they are moving in slow they are definitely moving in slow and their heart is guarded but it's solid this time they're moving in a little slower because this is solid and they are wanting to offer something solid a solid commitment but again, I'm still seeing the closed heart between the two of you. They're going to initiate contact. They're coming in to initiate contact. You may be blocked, okay, currently from this person. You may be blocked. But they are coming in. They will unblock. Maybe without you even knowing. Maybe you won't even expect it just yet. But you will be unblocked. They're going to initiate the contact. They're coming in to make this solid and offer solid commitment. But their heart is guarded. And just the fact that they're coming back and traveling towards you with their heart in their hands tells you you're going to know why they're back. You're going to know why they're back. Okay. Let me get some more. They're stressing about this as well, too. They're in their heads. You two have a lot of mirroring energies here. Uh, lots of mirroring energies here. You're both in your head. You're both a little stressed. I think your person's a little bit more stressed than you are. I think that Scorpio, you have started, you were the one that was putting in more of the energy in the past. So you're in a place where you're ready to give up in a sense. Um, you're, you're trying to make this decision, but you don't want to let go. You've put way too much energy into this that you don't want to let go. It was your person in the past that fought this, that fought this connection. And so that's why they're super stressed out right now. And they're coming in with their heart guarded. And they're coming in slow because they're afraid that you may reject them. Because they rejected you. They hurt you in the past and they know it. They know how much now that they hurt you. They know how much they hurt you. You know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull an oracle card here. And then I'm going to go into the extended. And I'm, I'm going to take this and I'm going to see um, how this evolves. How this evolves. How much further you take this. When the communication comes in. Um... In the, in the outcome and any advice that the universe may have for you, okay? But do know that I'm here and stay focused on this project that you're working on. Because this is where you're focusing a lot of your energy on something that's bringing you a lot of material success, okay? And because you're focusing on this, this is, it's easier for the universe to work on your person and your person to breathe without feeling your energies attacking them or causing any resistance. You focusing on your project or whatever else you're focusing on is taking the resistance off this person. And this person is able to come in a lot easier, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Please leave comments down below and let me know if this relates to you um, and how it does. And um and I'll, I'll link the extended down below where I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave these cards just like this. And we're going to keep going into it and see how this evolves. Let me get a Moonology card for my readers. I mean, my watchers here for this reading. If you don't go into the extended, give me one more message for them, please. One more message for my Scorpios. Meditate and contemplate. You're already doing that. You're already meditating and contemplating on this situation. And you and your loved ones are safe. You and your loved ones are safe. The answers you need are coming. The, 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 the answers, the messages, the communication, the truth is coming. Okay? It's coming in slow. But they're making their decision. They've made their decision. They're coming in slow. They're a little guarded. 
but they will unblock you and they will initiate contact, okay? Let's take a look in, um, further in and see how this evolves into the future, okay? All right, guys, I love you. Take care.